Yeah.
Now then.
What? Let's go!
then. You see, when forced to choose cake or pie, people show you their true taste. I am nothing like you. You're a psychopath who bakes for money. Actually... But I'm in a bit of a hurry. You go to Shujin, right? I heard things have been rough there lately. What with that violent incident. You want to go talk about it somewhere? Thank you for your concern. However, I really am in a hurry, so if you'd excuse me...
Come on, there's no need to be shy. Like I said... If you're busy, I'll put my number in your phone so you can call me later. Sound like a plan? Stop it. What do you want? Huh? Uh. uh. What the? What are you getting so jumpy about? Like you're anything special. Uh. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the trouble. Yes, that was rather scary, but I'm all right now. Uh, uh, um, may I ask you something? So, what made you step in to help me? I see. Well, I apologize for asking something so strange. You're headed to the cleanup as well, right? The cleanup? I'm so sorry, I haven't even thanked you properly yet! Oh no, I forgot my gym clothes at school! I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then, if you'd like. Pardon me. took you so long. Did you really come here from home in your gym clothes? It must be so nice to be a guy. Huh? Ain't it normal? And, uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit? Of course not. I brought my gym clothes with me. I was gonna change in the bathroom, but now there's a huge line. Oh. That makes sense. Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. It's such a nice day out that even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude, could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? I bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. Hey. Morning, everyone. Well, are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. Uh, in those clothes? Oh, no. I'm in a difference. There you are, Dr. Maroki. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. See you all later. Hmm. I can't remember if I brought any like starchy Tara? vegetables. <laughs> More like Dr. Popular. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will be even bigger someday. Good morning, Shujin Academy students and staff. Please pick up all trash located in the areas assigned to your group. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork and vegetables will be served. Ooh, pork miso soup! So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. They're four people apiece, boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your groups and head to your assigned areas. All right, let's just get this over with as fast as possible so we can chow down on that soup and get out of here. Yeah, him. Is he that transfer student? Yeah. You mean the one in all the crazy rumors? Keep it down. What if he hears us? Ugh. Anyone who just dumps a broken umbrella on the ground like this is human garbage. Oh, before you trash it, you have to make sure you separate the plastic parts from the metal frame. Separate it? How? Like this. Whoa, awesome! I had no idea you knew about that kind of stuff, Takamaki-san. I bet you'd make a wonderful wife. Oh, nah. 
Sweet, a wallet. Anything in it? Whoa, yeah, shit ton. We go in splitsies on this? Wait, shouldn't we take that to a police box? What? How was that weird? Man, this park is trash. No way this was all done by kids. It's gotta be the work of some no-good adults, too. If you don't mind, may I have the cap on that bottle? Huh? Uh, sure. Oh, are you a collector? Uh, not exactly. Recycling companies collect these and convert them into vials for vaccines. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, that sounds like an awesome way to bring more justice to the world. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I follow you. Before I add taro to the pot, I have to rub them with salt to reduce the sliminess. Oh, you're an amazing chef. I do cook pretty often at home. Let me try this little technique here. Huh? What the... Why is the wind salty? Uh, sorry. The cleanup is officially complete. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Would the leader of each group please come and get the soup for their teams? So, after the soup's doled out, everyone's free to do whatever they want. Huh, including getting the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. I don't know the best way to put it, but that sure was a crappy time out there. Oh! I finally found you! I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? Ah, I see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's alright with you, why don't we eat our soup together? Great! Thanks for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. Yes! There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, 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 oh. the delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you, too. I was, but I haven't paid it any real mind. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant tusk trafficking, was it? <laughs> Even I can tell you're joking. Hmm? You know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Oh. I'm sorry to make you go first. I apologize this was such a long time coming, but I hope we can get along well. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my... What the hell just happened? Huh, look. Just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. Huh? <laughs> 
I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Oshizawa, a first year. Figured that out too, huh? Well, yes, I compete in gymnastics. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, Senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is... I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. Sure I do. I'd love if you were willing to lend me an ear from time to time. I see. This sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. What do you think? Thank you. Then we've cut a deal. <laughs> I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Faith Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Contact information. Huh? It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. <laughs> it's back! Okay, I'll contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape. Yo. Hey. Oh. Thank you. 
Sorry. Well, see you later.
Morning. No way, man. What is the answer? This is it. Very good. Nice going!
Hey.
Ah, you're back. Hey.
What do you want? Stopping in. Welcome. By the way, Allergies are so annoying.
Oh. And? Hello?
By the way, Bye.
Let's do it. I'm here arriving from Okay. I want to ask you something. Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? You're not interested in this topic? You've dodged any immediate threats. Aren't you interested at all in what facilitated the change? Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account.
Thank you very much. <laughs> now then. Now then. Come again. I knew you could do it. Listen up.
Oh, you want to do it? Okay. Nice going! Alright. Alright. Well then.
to get going?
back. You got time right now? All right then. Getting started.
how about you? This is it. Right. Rain, huh? There's no one here. Please head to the exam room.
The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time, too. I should write something. You got time right now? All right, then. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... And even Sayuri... How could I... I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. Do you guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? 
That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Hmm? What did you say? Uh, <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. And it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So. Exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Komoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. 
I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> Just add this. <laughs> 